Hello and welcome back yet again to uh, so for some DC Earl action. Um, tonight, for the second match, I'm joined by not Whirl. Weevil, I just forgot to change the name. Um, <laughs> A oh, whirl. No. Ooh. Yeah, he, he. This is a whirl now. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we've got some Div C action. We've got 99 Thieves versus Get Wrecked here tonight. And yeah, uh, like I mentioned earlier, we are joined together by Weevil. Welcome, Weevil, to the casting. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So let's uh just uh we're, we're running a little bit beyond. Uh, let's just hop right into the uh, standings for Div C. Div C might be one of the closest ones that someone can correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't see any, like, nobody has a perfect record. Nobody has a, um, a undefe undefeated or completely defeated record. You either at the, all the way at the bottom have two to five and all the way at the top have four to two. It is insanely tight. Every single match can, like, throw you by a lot. So, um... Yeah, that's fun, that's fun. Uh, it's pretty close. What are you seeing from uh, looking at this? All right, now I'm trying to get people into the match. Um, so yeah. I can get them, but I'll take a look here. Uh, anyways, I'll just take over standings, yeah. Uh, at yeah, the top, we got sleepers at 62% of a win rate, which is actually pretty high, but granted, again, it's all pretty tight. Looking at, we'll just hop straight into specifically the uh, blue side of things or 99 thieves side of things we've got yellow dog bleat and slashing morphe on this side of things they're all kind of equal on stats if you look across the board they're all doing just about even which you actually kind of love to see all players doing a little more we'd wish to see a little bit more from like the uh upper of the field things but uh for the most part like it's pretty even across the board and uh honestly there's not too much to comment on here so let's just uh send it over to uh, get wrecked. What are you seeing from there? Sorry, still trying to get people in. <laughs> I can handle it. Don't. Don't. Yeah, Yellow Dog it, did it, add just, me. Just do it all. Just so do it we, all. <laughs> we were having a little bit of difficulty getting people to actually add me um, because I don't have these guys on Epic, but uh, I think we got that situated because one of them finally added me back, which is huge. Uh, anyway, so what do you think you're seeing from the uh, get wrecked side of things? Alright, let's see. As far as get wrecked goes, uh, one melanoma personally, dude's sitting at 0.86 goals a game, and you got wannabe also up there. Mitchy Twitch is just hanging back a little bit. Uh, he's kind of playing that midfield looks to be, but getting back on those saves too. Uh, Juan Melon playing both sides of the field, whereas at wannabe is just he's also going to be kind of playing that front man, taking the most shots out of his team. Um, not quite the highest shooting percentage, but 35% is not not a bad place to be. Um, but as far as demos per game goal, everyone's contributing. Everyone's getting demoed at least once per game, but not too not too terrible of a of a stat line to be in. Yep, and overall these two teams seem pretty even. There is a slight edge towards the get rec side. They do have the three and three, which means they're right in the middle of the pack for all of the standings. Whereas the uh, 99 Thieves, they're on a little bit of the lower end of things. You kind of can see it from uh, the predictions. It's pretty lopsided towards Get Wrecked. So for my prediction, honestly, I'm going to have to go with Get Wrecked. Probably a 3-1. I think 99 Thieves don't get sweeped here. I think we see a 3-1 here. What do you think for predictions between the two of these? Hmm. I, seeing as Get Wrecked has, they're, they're up a little bit in the season. Uh, they seem to have the better stats overall. I would have to say... Probably also a 3-1. Actually, I'm going to go 3-2. Three, 3-2. Two. Three, two. Ooh, a game three, two five for, prediction. For get wrecked. Yep, I think we're going to game five. We had one one sweep today. I think uh, we need to make up for that. I think, though, uh, the uh, sweep doesn't really do that serious justice. That was kind of really no, close. No, it was close. Somehow, my even though being a sweep, my prediction of two OTs was actually held true. So that was somehow a really, really tight game. And it seems like everyone is good to go. So we might just send her in about a minute early right into the game here we're they are actually moving. still in the match i guess uh that is huh they might be in the match. let's check uh maybe they are maybe you're right but they did say we we're good so uh they're they're lying that is what's happening here um uh yellow dog seems good 
Uh, it's it's the it's get wrecked. Oh, so Yellow Dog took longer to add me back on Epic, but get wrecked got uh is more is uh taking a little bit to get it going. Let's see if we can uh, help them uh, hurry up. But other than that, uh, what do you think about Div C in general? <laughs> Like uh, uh this C in general, let me take a look there. I can I can throw here. back up the uh standing spec Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I looks like a three way tie currently. Um seems like Noah's Ark has already played their seventh game, so technically they are in the lead. But as far as winning percentage goes, as long as sleepers and high rollers well and Silver Knights, if they all win their game, we have a four way tie for for first place. Um uh, so it's it's a very very close very close matchup between everyone in, in Div C as far as as far as that goes. A uh, couple people leading in the in in last, but not by much. I mean, it, everyone's seeming to be fighting for their places and for seating. All right, so these guys are good to go. There might be a technical issue that might arise, but we'll pray for the best and hope that this goes smoothly we're just gonna hop right into it there's a possible reset who knows uh, apparently they're having troubles last night match and they might need to reset but for now we're gonna try it out and we're gonna see if we can have some luck here and we don't need to reset that otherwise uh yeah let's get right into it these teams are good to go and let's hop into this matchup starting off morphe looking to take a shot MLG gets in the way, goes high, but he can't quite get up there. Might have been low on boost. Weak gets a nice fake and sends it on net. Wada might be able to save this, and he does. Close call for get wrecked there. Morphe taking his time up in the air. He might be able to get a double tap over everyone. Couldn't quite get, couldn't quite get it past everybody there. Wannabe sends it far. Morphe ups, it, nice save. Twitchy to the mid. Unfortunately, nobody there for get wrecked. It's pretty almost on target, just a little off. Morphe tries to put it back down mid again. Not the best touch. Mitchie. Right over to Yellow Dog. Yellow Dog gets a nice, easy clear. First team, but Wada gets in the way. Puts it back mid, but Bleet says no to that one. Yep, and we still see a scoreless match in this game and then we thought it would be a more of a heavy source get wrecked but thus far 99 thieves doing their best to stay up on defense and they're doing quite a great job almost a huge rig coming from watermelon he can't quite find it we tries to boom it across trying to get something going but want to be mlg rocking the same decal that bobslinger was rocking tries to get one on target That's can't it. quite find it but there is mitchy twitchy to find the back of the net yeah it was a fantastic pass and, and i think it wasn't quite a 50 from MLG, but he got a nice little pass to, to Mitchy Twitchy. Just nobody back for 99 Thieves there. Just an easy goal for Wana. Actually, sorry, for what Twitchy. Mitchy Twitchy. They're all, they're all the same, right? I mean, they're just the same, <laughs> same player, right? I saw, yeah, I saw, saw Wana be top of the leader, but I'm like, oh, yeah, he, got, he definitely got the, the goal. But he must be, he must be kind of everywhere in this game because just to have one assist and he, he's almost 100 points over next player i mean he's he's doing pretty well yep and this game hat you do see that one goal lead and neither teams are really high scoring teams as we saw most of them average about half a goal a game every single player individually some of them being more like 0.8 none in the ones so this one is a pretty low scoring series what i predict maybe two or three goals possibly in a series but being able to get your first one Ooh. on the net and can't quite get there. Wadig making the diving save. He gets back there in time. Wannabe MLG trying to send it out. Gets the demo. This is dangerous for 99 Thieves, but they're doing a great job of clearing it out. Oh, we almost had that flick over and just messed it up just the slightest bit. And Mitchie's just going to try to go for a little air dribble. I like these air dribbles that we're seeing from all these players, you know. They're not the most technical uh, moves, but if you, hey, if you can make it work, it's, it might just be enough to get your team in the lead. Yeah, and we have seen some pretty impressive things coming out of DC. They're still a pretty impressive group of people. Boy, Ooh. this game is a demo heavy game. <laughs> We've seen a lot of people coming alive. I can't wait to see the stats to see how that looks. 
But uh, for the most part, both teams still kind of even. We've seen that one goal come out of get wrecked, but thus far it's been kind of a silent game. Decent number of threatening possessions, but nothing finding the back of the net. Mitchy Twitchy trying to change up that script, getting into a dangerous position. Wada there for the Wada. shot. Boom, what a shot coming out from Wada. What a shot, you know? What a shot. Wada, <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> what a shot. What a save. That no, was a fantastic shot. <laughs> yeah, there was nothing was that 99 weird. Thieves could have done to save that. That was a powerful and accurate shot coming out from Wada from a great pass from, I don't remember who, I think it might have been Mitchy Twitchy who got that ball into that dangerous spot. I do remember mentioning... Yes, it was. These teams are pretty good at getting the ball into dangerous positions for the other team. But uh, thus far, two goal lead. Trying to make it three. Can't quite find it. Wada trying to boom it. Trying to do everything on the pitch. Being a great like player. Just being the menace with demos. Menace with everything. Doing an awesome job pulling up for the Get Rex squad. Yeah, everyone's kind of pulling it together. It's, it's I almost saw a fake there from Yellow Dog, trying to get something nasty going. But I'm noticing all these teams are trying to get some pass plays going. Uh, but the defenses for both teams are kind of just shutting it down. There's just the only two goals that have gone in are just um, slight, slight mistakes, really. Um, and I think we'll see the passing game, the passing game, be the be the decider. Yep, and this is definitely a very Close game as Wada almost puts in a, another one for their team, but with 30 seconds left on the clock, they don't really need it. And time is running out for 99 Thieves to bring this one back. We trying to get it going, but Wanna be MLG there to make the save. He's trying to push it up himself. He can't quite find it, but there's Wada yet again doing everything on the pitch, getting the clear, doing everything. They need to shut this man down right now because this man is a killer player right now. Yeah, wannabe might just have an easy goal there, but if Yellow can save it, but Wada's gonna be there to pause, slot in, but he just goes high. <laughs> Mitchy Twitchy, I think, tried to put it back on, but also went high with it, and uh, neither way, either way, would not have mattered. They they were up to there, but no problem in patent stats. Yeah, you can tell Wada wanted that one after the quick chat spam, but a close game nonetheless. It might have been a two-goal lead game, but still yet a close game and still very impressive from both sides. I think Wanna be MLG, he didn't get mentioned enough for how much he was doing. He's got almost all the red under his name. Saves really pulling up on the defense end, diming up Watermelon. He did a great job on the get wreck side. If we look at the other side of things. All players kind of doing their part, but it's just not quite enough to keep the ball out of the net and trying to get something going, but still a decently close game nonetheless. Yeah, what I was surprised to see there was 99 Thieves. They had quite a, like, they had double the demos that uh, get wrecked it, and they, it seems like, because demos will usually work, usually give you the uh, scoring opportunity, but it seems like they just might be rotating to the demos at the wrong times, so... If they can clean that up, I think we'll see a little bit different uh, of a scoreline here. Yeah, we just need to see them making every single chance count and making sure that they are um, getting all their threatening positions to be ones that end up in the net. Question, did we, do we have a problem here? Is there a missing player or am I miscounting? We do have a missing player. Do we wanna, shouldn't. Am I? Just blind? I think you're just miscounting. Am I just blind? No, I'm not just blind. Okay, my bad. I'm just miscounting. I did accidentally join one of the teams, though. <laughs> oh, that's what the weird disconnect was. Okay, <laughs> yeah, probably. I was. Uh, I'm just hearing you do stuff. <laughs> I just decided I want to play in Div, Div C for today, you know? Yep, and we got Weevil going up the wall. He's going to hit a tri <laughs> triple reset. <laughs> <laughs> that would be, that'd be a little rough. <laughs> yeah, I'd feel terrible. Oh, but Wada yeah, almost Captain puts a Div B on goes that. down into Div C matchup <laughs> in a 4v3. Yeah, I've been lying this whole time. I'm just a, just a Div C, Div C guy. Whoa. Weed. I didn't even think there was going to be a shot there because that is a difficult angle for even some, even for you, I guess. I mean, if you were in the lobby, that, that's a pretty difficult angle to hit. And he managed I'll just to say I'm impressed. Yeah. yeah, I'm impressed. That was, was a very solid shot. He didn't. Didn't need to move his car at all, just jumped at it, 
shot it on. I mean, and then we might see an open. Nobody oh, yellow no. dog misses it and he gives up. <laughs> yeah, you can see the disappointment in yellow dog as he just stopped dead in his tracks. Oh, uh, that one hurts <laughs> a little bit, but that is their first goal of the game. They did just score their first goal, not of the game, of the series. Mm -hmm. And so bravo to them. They have come alive a little bit. And we do see a tied up match, possibly a little bit of a rally now going going forward but uh get wreck trying to shut that down with this level of offense because this pressure oh, no. is insane wada trying to pass it mid mitchy just not quite there pinch almost finds swain but slashing morphe there for the save yeah i think we're gonna see uh a definitely definite mental reset from 99 thieves they just need to not give up on these uh just play our, play their defensive prowess here and let Yellow Dog look, looking to take the counterattack. Gets demoed for it. Morphe puts it down mid for Bweep. Bweep puts it on, but I think it was uh, Mitchie that got in the way there. Wannabe yeah. goes up. Yellow Dog to contest. But Bweep puts it right on. Watt is there to save it. I thought that one was in. I'm going to be I honest. That, that one was, was looking like a lethal passing play, and Bweep was there for the shot. But somehow, Can Yellow Dog save this? diving save, oh, and now back on the other end of things, Yellow Dog getting a great save of his own. Both teams putting up, I would say, a master class of defense and offensive right now. We've definitely seen Div see this matchup come alive, and this is some great gameplay we are seeing coming from both sides of things. For, very true, very true. They're, these two are very well matched. Uh, we'll, we'll then here see Bweet. She's going to take his time with it. Gets faked out by Mitchie. Treated perfect patience from Mitchie. Wannabe puts it to, to the backboard. Morphe clears. Morphe going for another here. Can he get a double touch? Cannot. Wannabe leaving We all alone. But Wee gets a fantastic clear. But no, Morphe doesn't turn for it. I thought he would have turned for that there. But Wee decides to go instead. Right now, 99 views looks like they're kind of commanding the at least possession on the ball currently. Yellow Dog with an unfortunate little bit of a miss, and it allows Mitch Twitch to put one on target. He can't quite find it. Wannabe MLG can't quite get the angle he wants, so he backs off, giving Wheat the possession to send it up the field. Ooh. A little bit slashing more if he didn't think that play would go, but he's looking for a demo. Couldn't quite find it. Yellow Dog trying to keep the possession going here. Mitchy Twitchy trying to find something of his own going slashing morphe trying to keep it moving up the field bweet with a pass to the corner it's a little touched a little bit dangerous but there's want to be able to clear it out oh that was looking like it was going to be a fantastic pass from wada he just couldn't quite get the power off and it went right to the other side but then I'm, these these passing plays I, I think we're gonna see them form up again like like i said before they uh, they're trying to get more off and in this division that's that's what's gonna win you games is if you can get the get good passes off to um, subvert the other team's expectations. Yeah, and some great play coming out, and that's a great shot Mitchie. coming out from Mitchy Twitchy. What a shot coming from the midfield to get it over both defenders, and no one is able to save that speed behind that ball, and it finds the back of the oh. net, giving Get Wrecked their second goal of the second game. Yeah, very fantastic shot. He just waited until the last opportunity to dodge, which gave him some kind of unexpected power. But as I say that, oh, I thought that I thought Yellow Dog just slotted that on. He did, but Mitchy Twitchy's playing out of his mind. He got that save. Uh, Mitchy is just playing a different game right now. I think we definitely 99 Thieves are definitely playing some of their best form. But unfortunately, get wrecked. This is probably the best, some of the best we have seen them because they are firing on all cylinders. Last match we saw Wannabe MLG and Watermelon popping off, but now Mitchy Twitchy says, I'm here too, I can get this done too. And he's been a elite player on the side of Get Wrecked. And 99 Thieves, they've been doing a great job against this force, but they can't quite get it. And with 20 seconds left, they need to find something to tie this up and send it OD. They need a miracle, that's for sure. Uh, it, with them being on their, on their side, it's not looking up for it but here they, here's a perfect opportunity for counterattack if they can just get it down mid but morphe is gonna be left he could do something with this i take that back he got bumped away it looks it's like. still not down yet wanna be mlg fakes oh. it to let it go down and we see a match point coming out from get wrecked 
Honestly, I kind of want to see this next one go to 99 Thieves because I don't want to see two sweeps for the first match for the first day of DCL being back. I would love yeah, to it's... see a little bit more back and forth. <laughs> I, I was going to say that even if it's a sweep, like these are all close games again. This is, you know, last series was a, uh, they were all close games as well. And hopefully this one doesn't go to, uh, at least for my prediction, I, I predicted game five. Uh, I'm hoping that the next two go to Night and Thieves because they're they have the opportunity to take it. They're playing very very well. Um, yep. They and, they could bring these back for sure. Yep, and Michi Twitchy definitely coming alive. That one. watermelon still playing exactly like I was doing last time. They're kind of just taking turns being the one to uh, pop off, and it's been working for them. They've been doing amazing, and it's been getting them wins. We need to see 99 Thieves respond to this stellar version of Get Wrecked in order to get back into the series. Want to be MLG trying to get it going up the field. Yellow Dog there for the pop. Can't quite find it. Yellow Dog tries to get something going. Mitchy Twitchy going to say, all right, this is my turn to get something going on this field again. And he tries to get it going. Can't quite find it. Great 50 coming out from Buit. Yellow Dog there for the shot, but he can't quite find it either. Still 0-0, 30 seconds in. I kind of forgot I was casting there. I, I was just watching the, the good gameplay. <laughs> but Mitchy Twitchy taking it up the wall there. Trying to keep possession here. Gets a pass two. Passing to Wada. Wada gets a ripper on net, but Bleak gets in the way. Wanna be past the Wada, but Wada just goes right past it. Wada opting to go back, and Mitchy's sending it far, but Yellow Dog, a menace in the air. Clears that one away. Morphe trying for something spicy. What a but he shot. couldn't quite get it, but leaves it for Bweet. And Bweet puts it just a ripper on, on 118 kilometers per hour. I mean, on top of that, look at the placement. Yeah. That was, it doesn't get more top right corner than that. There was nobody a, in net, but like he, if there was, there's there's no shave. <laughs> yeah, there's no saving it. It wouldn't have mattered. That one was in regardless. And we see the first lead of the series that 99 Thieves have, which is huge for them. They have yet to have a lead of any kind in the previous two games. They are kind of just playing defense, but now we're seeing a little bit more of that offense coming alive. And as I'm saying that, get wrecked having a great opportunity here, but there's 99 Thieves' stellar defense to shut it down. Yeah, 99 Thieves going for a pinch play, might be in, and it is. What a pinch, it's just subverting their expectations. Like, Chat, can somebody clip that? I could use some clips to post on social media, please. That would yes, be please. great. <laughs> that was <laughs> stellar coming out from Div C. So some awesome play there. Some great communication to pinch that. What a pinch. I don't know how often we see pinches, but they are definitely a lethal tool to be used. Especially with like that same placement. It, it went to the top, top left that time. It, it's just they're putting on these shots that are practically unsavable uh just playing very very well right now playing looks like a very defensive game too although if they let this hit off the backboard could have been dangerous but it seems like it was all calculated out as far as 99 thieves are concerned yep we have a two goal lead which i believe no wait was the first game two goal lead for get wrecked i believe i believe so Maybe this is this time for 99th Thieves. It's, th it's their turn now to, to uh, get a little bit more domination on the field right now. Oh, nearly a rule one coming <laughs> oh out. Oh my gosh. And it's open. You just got to put it on. Water's just yep. going to steal that one <laughs> for Mitchie. Uh, I don't count it as a steal. That's I know. That's perfectly acceptable. <laughs> but what a, what a shot coming from. What a demo to open <laughs> up that third man. And then they were able to capitalize on the demo, and now we see 2 1 favoring 99 Thieves. Yeah. Get Wreck could bring this back, but 99 Thieves looking a little strong now. Although, if they leave the net open like this, could be dangerous. But Morphe gets, puts it away. Yellow Dog getting bullied in the back corner. Meanwhile, Mitchie's just going to put it past him right to pass to Wada, but Wada doesn't seem quite ready for that. Morphe, nice little clear. Might be just enough to get it away. Oh, this could be dangerous though. What a save! We kind of got away from him, but he got another, got another touch on it, and he puts it to the backboard for Yellow Dog to sh potentially shoot this. Just not enough power, or accuracy on that one. Yeah, 
little Wanna bit of be. a trying to play it out of his own corner. Wanna be able to give great control to keep that out of harm way, especially when it's in front of your net like that. That's kind of hard to play out out of your possession. A great opportunity here, but Buid is there to shut it down. Watermelon trying to try to get something going. He can't quite find it either. We trying to create a scary situation, but Wada there yet again to save it away. They just need to hold off for these next 90 seconds and they can secure a game four at least. Yeah, a game four would be huge for them. Get that morale up. Kind of maybe get in the heads of, of get wrecked a little bit. Well, you also got to uh, remember. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, you're, you're perfectly fine. Go ahead. You also got to remember with how everyone in this entire league being within two games of each other. It means the majority of all of the score, all of like the placement for seeding, will be 100% determined by game differential. So every yeah, single yeah, game you can squeeze yeah. out here is huge. So even if they don't win this, even if they lose this, they need to try to force a game five or at least a game four because game diff is huge. Yeah, game five game right now would be would be huge for 99 Thieves because even if they lost it, they right currently they're tied with Arch Archangels. And to, to at least secure that uh, the eighth spot or seventh spot, you know, they, they need to do decent in this one. Yep, so I believe this is also Dipsy is the other 10 team division. So you kind of need to avoid those seeds 7, 8, 9, and 10 because seeds 7, 8, 9, and 10 have to also, in that same situation as Dip B, they the have to play, they have to, instead of winning two to go to land, they have to win three to go to land. And we all That's know true. land is insanely hyped to go to be a part of. So game differential is going to be one of a, I think it will be a deciding factor on who gets the seventh seed and who gets the sixth seed. Now, 99 Thieves do win that one. It does end up touching the ground, which is huge. Again, that game diff is insanely important. Buit especially being one to absolutely come alive in game three. Yeah, 505 points, almost two, two across the board. Uh, just missing an assist, but two saves, two goals. Uh, two, he went two for two, 100% shooting you know, that's that's always going to be a huge stat line to, to do well on. So good on him. He, he came out and was not messing around. And hopefully we can see that again this next next game. Yeah, that was a pretty stellar match coming up from 99 Thieves. They definitely found their rhythm and found a way to shut down an insane get wreck team. And thus far, we have seen some great play coming out from both teams. And I'm hoping we see a game five here as we get into the game four. But real quick. Thank you, Mitch, for the sub, getting us towards that Thank 150. You, making people eat insanely spicy food is amazing. We love it. We want to see those reactions. I will also be one of the people eating those wings, so if you want to see me suffer, because my pain tolerance to spice is honestly terrible, start oh, we start subbing. It. Start subbing, yeah. We, we love it when people don't have spice tolerance, because we don't, we don't want people to be who have people who have had spice. We want to, we want to see the reaction, so... If you guys want to see a great um, uh, spicy wings challenge from someone with little uh, little experience with You'll spice. You'll make me cry. You'll make me cry. Oh, I think everyone's oh. crying. I don't, I don't even think if you had a great spice challenge. Oh, what a, what a shot. shot. <laughs> Pause. We can come Shameless back to plug. that in a little bit. <laughs> we can come back to that in a little bit because that is, I believe, a double tap coming out from Div C. Nice. These guys are not disappointing this match. What a shot coming out from Slashing Morphe. That was, that was huge. Like, Huge shot for Morphe. I was also getting their team up Something one a goal just to start with. Like early getting getting up a goal early in the match. Such a big thing for a team. Yeah, so uh, of... slashing Morphe said, Oh wait, Buit gets a clip. Let's get a clip too real quick and uh put in a, <laughs> a little bit of a double tap. It, it, you could argue it wasn't double tap because he did touch the ground in between touches, but regardless, it was a cool angle coming out from slashing Morphe. Yeah. Clips are probably the last thing on his mind right now. They they are on death row currently. Yeah, it's all it's all or nothing right now. They got to win the next couple to to scrape away with a win here. So they are they are they are just thinking about winning this. Oh, one hundred percent. Putting the ball on that. I mean, it's a cool little thing. Right as we have another dangerous <laughs> situation, it's a cool little thing to get a clip. But at the end of the day, the goal is the goal, and some of the best players are the best players because they're known for just simply how well. There are those tap-in merchants. And what as I say that, chemistry. Mitchie 
said, all right, I'll do that. I'll become the tap-in merchant. And he slams one top left corner. What a shot from a pass from Wannabe MLG. I'm just going to point out the fact that this chemistry or communication on the side of Get Oh, Rick, who lives in a nuts. pineapple yeah. under the sea. Uh, I believe Spongy it, yeah, Bobby Wannabe square was in the corner and he just left it. He t gave it one little tap to to the midfield and he just, and Twitchy just, Mitchy just slotted it in. It was fantastic communication. Nobody from Nine Man Thieves expected that. Yep, and again, appreciate the uh, sub coming out from Shark Bite. Uh, huge 10% yeah, of the way there already on the first stream oh, is huge. Weevil's getting scared. But we do have a tied game here, so let's, uh, let's focus on that. <laughs> <laughs> let's get Weevil's mind off, on, off that and get on something else because we have half the game left and an insane game coming up from both teams putting up their best effort to try to send this to game five and for Get Rec to try to lock it out in four. Which if yeah. they do, my prediction's right. I think there's one world where our predictions is not, because either I'm gonna be right and they win it here, or you're gonna be right, they win it five, or we're both wrong because- Or, or we're both wrong and, they, thieves. and 99 Thieves take the whole thing, yeah. You would not complain. No, that would be a very huge comeback. B big reverse sweep. Which I will say, uh, I did put my points on 99 Thieves just because the payout was too good not to. I, I might have too, but I've been a little cheeky. Did the same thing. Yep, so I mean, it's a win win. We're either right or we get points <laughs> here. So I mean, who can complain? You can't but lose. You, you take it. Anyways, it's <laughs> under two minutes <laughs> in the game. Mitchie Twitchy trying to get something going. We gonna kick it out himself. Still a tied game. This is about on par for sh for about scoring, I think, for the most part. I think all but the first game have been three goal games, which is huge to see coming out. What this a, might also be a three goal game. Oh. I think there's a very good chance. I would love to see OT here, but I know one thing for sure, 99 Thieves don't want to see OT. OT definitely favors the team on match point because you're only one mistake away we'll from fantastic. that, but we might not see it if this is in the back of the net and it is slashing Morphe. He's gonna have a beautiful angle on that and slam it in the back of the net. It's a fantastic pass from Yellow Dog. Honestly, I thought that first shot was on, but goes off the backboard and Morphe's just sitting there waiting. I'm telling you, these passes just, they're gonna win the game. They, You keep doing them, they're going to win you. So if we see a win here, then it's Yellow Dog's turn, right? Like, I, I'm, I'm getting this right. But... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And this is the third goal. We need to either we're gonna see a new game, a new uh, uh, script here, or we're gonna see game five coming up from 99 Thieves. A little bit of a lob, slight bump on Yellow Dog, but he still somehow finds the touch still. This is dangerous. Yellow Dog there for the shot, but he can't quite find it. Mitchy Twitchy uh -oh. gonna pop to the side. What a shot coming from Wada, but it is Fantastic saved away defense. from slashing Morphe being that goat in game four yeah fantastic defense uh they just they're not going for the stuff that's risky they're just waiting for a an easy shot to get put on um keeping two in net you know the, the worst thing you could do right now as an as 99 thieves is give up a goal and take this to overtime yep all they need to do is play a little cautious don't overcommit to things and in 10 seconds they will oh, huge send demo it to five oh. Just the shot goes just a little bit Another too demo. wide. They're just gonna blow up every player. You can't score if you're blown up. Two seconds, one second. It does stay oh, up. No. It's shot oh, wide, saved, and dropped by Yellow Dog. What Yellow a Dog. I didn't game even see for. him back there. <laughs> I thought if this that was a good shot on it, it would have gone to overtime. But thankfully, yeah, just not sure quite enough power. Been. I don't know. It, maybe it would. No, been. I wasn't enough power, but I was definitely worried there. You can't trust the Dominus power. But that thing could either oh, send sure. it across the field or just dink it. 100%. And there you see the stat line again. Yep, they're slashing Morphe coming alive for 99 Thieves. All of the players really doing their own power. I know I said Yellow Dog, it's your turn next. But we got to look at him too. He did do his part. Three demos in that game, two saves and an assist. He was definitely setting up his teammates to get those plays and he was doing awesome too but slashing morphe with five shots and nearly exceeding the entire team of get wrecked in shots just mm -hmm. by himself
What a game coming out from Slashing Morphe. He even did as many shots as his teammates combined. <laughs> so he was he was doing putting in a lot of work on that front end. And it, it worked out for him. He was just there where he needed to be. Slotting in what, what shots that had the best opportunity of going in. Yep, and now we are either going to see the Game 5 win for Get Wrecked, so your prediction will hold true, or we see a reverse sweep coming from 99 Thieves, getting into the three-win territory and potentially saving themselves from a uh, six, uh, or 7, 8, 9, 10 seed if they can walk this out. But for now, Huge wanna shot. be MLG saying not today and launching one from the midfield right in the back of their net fantastic like air roll shot there unfortunately we not back i'm not I, he must have been getting boost near just coming off the kickoff but amazing shot from wannabe he's just where he needed to be in a perfect placement mitchy going for a double he gets that one too we just got two two kickoff goals in 15 seconds we see get wrecked respond to the dominance of 99 thieves in the Oh, sorry. In the past two games, the absolute dominance coming up from 99 Thieves, we see them respond really quickly and get a 2-0 to zero lead. This is a two, hell of a two shots there, too. I thought, I thought we were about to get the third there. <laughs> but I, you know, I feel an air of vengeance coming from uh, Get Wrecked. They, they do not want to lose this one to a team that, honestly, they probably shouldn't lose to. But, again, Div C they're all just so close to each other it's just gonna be a back and forth looks like yep and slashing morphe finding the perfect placement for that shot it looked off to me a little bit but apparently that one was gonna just drop dink a little bit in and it was a little bit of an added speed coming from the get rex side of things but now we see a one goal lead which is much more manageable coming from nine thieves yeah definitely for by far uh one goal lead well, one goal lead uh, as far as Get Wrecked goes. Get Wrecked has one goal lead, I think. Gotta remember, um, this is the script of the past several matches, winning in a 2-1 fashion, as Yellow Dog can't quite find the touch there, and Wannabe MLG perfectly places it behind him, says, nope, hurts. we're going to see a different <laughs> script here. My brain hurts. I, I didn't think this was this one was going in, and then it just it went in. I I was not ready for it. Yep, I was ready for a clear and then for a maybe a little play, but no. Get wrecked, get a 3-1 lead. So the first 3-1 lead oh, of no. the series, and Yellow Dog can find the touch. I was a little bit worried there, but he does find a great touch. He's trying to get it down to Slashing Morphe. Can't quite find it. Bleak going to try to push it out himself. He can't quite find it. Wada going to send it to the corner. Yeah, that, that one that I think that was Morphe that cleared it that was a fantastic clear he came down from the ceiling after touching it got a nice clear otherwise i think that would have been on but wada is going up for another one might hit across the backboard unfortunately not enough power morphe's just gonna take his time with the midgy going for the contest morphe is gonna have another got gets the flip reset still has the ball somehow <laughs> going for a 50 but it does not go his way yellow dog Gotta be Wada. Wada beats him there. Weed's gonna clear far. Yellow Dog might have an opportunity to take it, but Wada, Wada gets in the way. It. Yeah, Wada says no, no, no. That was gonna be an elite passing play, and they're trying to get the passing plays going. Yellow Dog <gasps> there for the shot. Yellow Dog making redemption for the uh, failed save from earlier. Now we see that one goal lead. This is the highest scoring game by far, having this like the total of points from both game one and game two. Yeah. It just seems like an all-out uh, shoot shot fest, I, like just all, complete offense, no parking the bus here. I mean, one thing that I'll keep saying over and over again is it doesn't matter if you lose by one, lose by ten, it's still a loss at the end of the day. A loss is a and loss. Yep. So when you're down and you're on match point, you need to just throw everything you got, and that is definitely what Nine Nine Thieves have been doing. It's been resulting in get wrecked having a few more opportunities at the net, but. It's also resulted in a lot more opportunities from 99 Thieves, and I'd love to see the playstyle switch up. And now we're halfway through the game, and already almost more points than the entire series combined. Not quite. If they score like six more, then yeah, it'll be more. But yeah. a very aggressive game coming up from both teams. Oh, for sure. 
Yellow Dog might have another opportunity on here. He opts to send it high, but Morphe, I saw he didn't have any boost. That's probably why he wasn't able to get that, get a good shot off on there. Michi getting a little awkward. <laughs> Duwada and Michi just decide to play some ping pong with each other. You know, Wall still got it, but Morphe just gets in his face and kills him for that one. Yellow Dog being a menace in the air couldn't opted not to get a second touch on that one. Probably just didn't have enough boost in his tank. Now he does. He's got 100, but gets turned around. So Morphe tells him, I'll take that one. But, and then slots it, puts it on the backboard for Yellow Dog to just finish it off. And we have a tie game, 3-3, three to three, with about 90 seconds left in the game. At this point, it is anyone's game. It might just be one more goal that decides it all, but with this level of a shootout, I don't think we only see one more. It's possible we see two more. We see an OT here, which would be absolutely spectacular to end out day oh, one gosh. back to DCRL. Might give you bigger a bigger of a headache, but... Uh... <laughs> game 5 OT would... I'll, it'll definitely get me excited. Definitely hurt my brain more. But no, you'll just instantly I will be. shake it off because you'll just be so excited and the adrenaline will be pumping for you. Oh, for sure. And a huge bump, but Wannabe couldn't put it on. Yeah, I would definitely be excited to get a, a Game 5 OT first week back. First day back, actually. Yeah, I wish I had some popcorn break. for this match because holy, yeah. another shot opportunity coming out, but not quite. Mitchy Twitchy trying to send it out. Wannabe MLG there to pop it out. Yellow Dog. Trying to keep it on offense. What a clear coming from Wannabe MLG. Buit's going to have to try to collect it. Wada with a pre-jump. I think Buit had a lot more faith in that pre-jump than that was actually going to happen. So, unfortunately, he couldn't quite find the touch he wanted. Buit up for this. Wada there to boom it away. Sends yeah, it up just... the field. Buit's there for the shot. Can't quite find it. Yeah, they're just playing playing each other's touches here. And Wada, this could be dangerous, but... Oh, it's still good. Oh, for a second, I didn't think they were going to get it out of there. I thought, uh, I think that was Wheat that was coming in. I thought he was about to just put that in. End it, end it before it could go to OT. I'm going to be honest. If Get Rec can lock this out, then they barely scraped away with the win here because 99 uh, Thieves. <laughs> what a save. I think that might have been going in if he wasn't there to save it. <laughs> that bouncer. Game 5 OT, break out the popcorn, because I think this one might take a little bit. Who knows, maybe I might be wrong as Yellow Dog trying to prove me wrong with a little bit of double tap. He can't quite find it. Buit sending it mid. Michi there to send it away. He's going to try to control it. Maybe ball Yellow Dog. He can't quite, but he does get it around Yellow Dog. Morphe and Buit trying to work its way up the field. What a hit coming out. Yellow Dog trying to tap it to safety. He does tap it to safety. Buit trying to do some work. Yellow Dog there for the 50. Morphe. Oh, good job, Morphe. What a game. Oh, this could be huge. Oh. oh, it's still in. Oh, I'm so unfortunate. And get wrecked. Oh. Managed to find the game winning shot. What a shot. Beautiful what placement. Buit couldn't quite get the touch. I'm not... Credit to you, boy. That was a very hard save. I don't that know so too many close. people that could uh, make that save and uh, couldn't quite get it, but they definitely put up a fight, and that kind of game differential does definitely help for placement in seeding. So good game to both of you guys. Let's see if we can get these guys in for a post-game interview. I just want to say Yellow Dog putting up um, a massive amount of points, helping his team out immensely, but just could not seal it in the end. I, that was, they almost made me my words. It was almost a reverse sweep there. That would have been really nice to see. But my prediction ended up being right. I'll take it. All I'm happy with that. Yep. And what a game indeed. What a series in general. We're just waiting on one more before we can get into a post Whoa. game interview. But it was definitely a wonderful game. Let's get these guys in here. All right. Congratulations, you guys, on your match win. What a series. I was a little bit nervous with the momentum going um, the favor of uh, uh, 99 Thieves. Sorry, I'm losing my train of thought because, pause real quick. That was 10 gifted subs, or 11 if you count his own sub. For chemical reaction, thank you. All right, let's get back to this uh, post-match interview, but thank you, chemical reaction, for the 10 gifted. Um, all right, what 
What was the game plan going into this match? This was the main uh, game plan. Um, we didn't really have anything specific. You like just go out there and dominate. All right. My my second question kind of has to also do with game plan. How did you guys like? What did what was the uh, comms after the um after having it be sent to game five by nine and Thieves? Because there, you guys definitely had to have said something. Because right off the rip, you guys got two goals right off the rip. What was being said in that uh, time in between the matches? So Alex, and, um, let's score. Yeah, and so we scored score. the first one. Yep, and then we're like, oh, that worked. Well, let's score <laughs> yeah. the second one. Okay, it worked again. And then I scored the second one. That was yeah. the exact comms. <laughs> nice. Well, that worked because you guys got the two-goal lead right off the rip and then managed to make it three. You had a little, me a little bit nervous with how much aggression 99 Thieves were having, uh, especially in OT. Uh, I was a little bit worried that 99 Thieves, and I even said at, at some point that if it did go that way, it would be like a little bit scraped out, just barely etching them out. But what a game indeed. Congrats, both of you guys. Weevil, do you have any question for these wonderful gentlemen? Not much. I mean, really just going into that game five. Were you guys, were you guys nervous you would lose? I mean, I mean, like, I've grinded for waterworks, and, like, I have all my waterworks gears. So, like, I think my stats were high enough where I knew my crit rating and my crit block were yeah. there, and I think that helped. Yeah, that is a niche joke just for you and I, <laughs> and maybe Cooper, but... <laughs> <laughs> but I, I get what you're saying yeah yeah, yeah. You, you guys have put in the time <laughs> i'll turn this into an analogy not just a joke <laughs> there you go, uh, there you all go. seriously all seriousness though i think every one of our series have gone game five i don't think we've had a series that hasn't so it was nothing new for our i team. feel you on that i think i'm i'm in the same boat so i know how that is yeah you guys so had to just... throw for content you don't want to sweep them and make them feel bad you just you had to give them a no. few just to just to let them let them feel good you know no well, if, if Morphe's watching, he'll know. We said this when we were at LAN last year. I was like, look, if we can at least take every match to game seven, we get the most out of our time. And we did. So there as long go. as we, you know, get the most out of our time as well. Y'all, you guys you know, really we... said, all right, I want to see how long I can be, in st be on stream for this. <laughs> we have been streamed in, what, four or five weeks? <laughs> yeah, it's been right. a while. Well, congratulations to you, boys. Unless you have any other questions, Weevil. I'm think... all good. I think we'll call that good for the game interview. Thank you guys so much for joining us, and uh, congrats again on your game win. Thank you. Thank you. Congrats. Thank you guys for streaming. All right, and that'll do it for our uh, games tonight. We had a some amazing action, a little bit of quicker action coming from Div B with a sweep, but that definitely went the distance with Game 5, which is huge for 99 Thieves. Like, they did, they may have lost, but they did definitely squeeze out a little bit better game differential for this. So, bravo to both teams. Bravo to 99 Thieves for giving us an amazing series. Bravo to just everyone. Uh, thank you for joining us. I don't, I didn't really touch on it that much, but thanks, Chemical Reaction, for the uh, 10 subs. I kind of kind of came yeah, out of an inconvenient time. But uh, otherwise, we appreciate it. Now we're at 26. I don't know what the percentage is for that. You'd have to, uh, one one-sixth of the way about uh bravo uh what a Tomorrow huge there, yeah. first stream to get it going for the sub goal and uh thank you weevil for joining us what a uh w caster to have on here do you have anything else to say before we um end the stream uh w streamer that's all <laughs> i gotta say well I'll just w's all around all right well thank you everyone for joining us tonight and enjoy the rest of your evenings uh, congrats again to both Get Wrecked and um, uh, the other. T yes, I don't. I'm blanking. Postman, no, not Postman. OG, <laughs> the OGs. Right, right, right. Okay, my my brain has been booted off for a while. The OGs. Sorry, my my. It's weird. Congrats, to you guys. Good luck on your matches this week. Good luck, everyone. Um, and we will catch you guys another time. Peace. See you.